right. So I'm lucky enough to uh, have two of our finest athletes from Manly Surf Life Saving Club, Phil Cox and Caitlin Carmody uh, from our March Pass team. Um, Phil, there's a lot of um, prestige with the March Pass. Um, you know, we see the, the, the pipe band go down and then, um, you know, a bunch of people marching. Uh, what, what does it, you know, what is the March Pass? Oh, it's probably one of the longest events that has been operating in surf life saving. Yep. Very traditional. Uh, each club in, before, in the old days had to have a team marching to compete. Yep. Uh, we're trying to keep on that tradition and encouraging other clubs to join the, the March Pass ranks. Right, sure. And uh, Caitlin, how did you get roped in to uh, help out the boys here? Well, I did March Pass from Nippers, so young young one came up through the ranks. Um, I compete in boat rowing and. So I'm at carnivals and they needed someone yep. to bring so, the age limit down and, a bit. <laughs> and so obviously um, it starts at a young age with the March Pass? Yeah, definitely. So it's a really big thing. There's 12 people in a team, so yep. it's yeah. good. And we're trying uh, to improve the looks of the team as well. <laughs> right. Oh, well, lucky here, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, so it's a good team event, especially coming up through Nippers. 12 kids, um, you get to meet people from all across the different age groups. and. Yeah, train, compete, and just have fun. And so, um, talking about training, you guys obviously look like you train pretty hard. We've seen you march yeah. around. Yeah. Um, you know, what kind of training goes into the march pass? Uh, we train every Wednesday night, probably for about two hours. Yeah. Um, followed by drinks afterwards. <laughs> Uh, but we have a bit of male bonding and now we've got a few young girls in the yeah. team as well. Uh, they join us for drinks, it's very nice. And, and so I guess, you know, the bonding part of it and, and the drinks and the training, um, you know, that's what, you know, that's, that's a big reason for yeah. being here and, and representing the club, I guess. The, the bulk of our team have been together 16 years now and uh, we all get on very well. We have golfing weekends, we, we go away to carnivals. Yeah. Uh, we're all going up to the nationals in Queensland and uh, making a, a long weekend of it, so it's a good time. Yeah. And um, today, um, Caitlin, you didn't get to march, you know, you don't get to march today, but um, with the uh, marching on home beach, Bill, you know, what's it like to represent Manly and, and be able to march around on your, on your home beach? Uh, it's, a, it's a big honour because we go on first. If it's, if it's your home beach, you march on first. And, yeah. and, and Manly's one of the better beaches on the, the northern beaches or in the whole of Australia. Yeah, yeah. So we're very proud to go on first and try and do our best yeah. uh, to represent the club as well. So. Yeah. And, and Caitlin, what's it feel like to, to be, um, you know, home beach, you know, watch, watching the boys go around today and, you know, the Manly Carnival, you know, it's a pretty big carnival. Yeah, it is. It's, um, it's an experience, I guess, is the best way to put it. It is quite a spectacle to see all of the teams and all the flags, the standards and, yeah, I don't, and the music. Yeah. And um, now my um, dad marches in the March Pass, so I guess... You know, I feel like maybe there's a, a bit of pressure for me one day down the line t to march in it. Um, you know, how does my dad go as a marcher? He's pretty average. He's pretty average. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're... you're <laughs> so I've got high expectations. <laughs> yeah, he'll do all right. No, your, your dad's fine. He's very good. He's, uh, we call him the new boy because he's yeah. only been going for eight years. Um, but he, he's going well and we look forward to you joining us and, and the younger ones as well. We, we're still after a few boat rowers. We've got one in. Yeah. Uh, but boat rowers say they're going to die first. But uh, you never know. Good. And, um, Caitlin, I, I suppose, um, are there any George Clooney's in the March Pass? Are there any good looking guys out there in the March Pass of, of the Manly? Can you rate you know, who's mm. going to be out there? Who to look for? Yeah, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the the yeah. physiques obviously aren't <laughs> what wins you the title. So, what, what wins you the, the titles out there? Uh, it's. it's um, Rhythm, I suppose. Timing and is everything. So it's actually uh, looking good on the day, yeah. getting your legs marching correctly. It, yeah. There is a, a, lot, a lot of work. Yeah. Believe it or not, it's yeah. there's a lot of judges out there looking for for you to make a mistake. So it's yeah, getting everything right that you've done in training on the day and. Um, yeah. And what's what's the tradition with the, the suits that you know we see you guys marching around in? Oh, it varies from club to club. We've got the old traditional one-piece suit yeah. with the palm tree up the front. Yeah. Um, we copied it off an old photo on the wall here from one of the historical photos, yeah. and uh, had it made up. But um, a lot of the clubs have got old-fashioned costumes, which sure. is again part of the tradition. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, uh, thanks again for today, and we wish you the best out there on the sand. Point the toes and uh, stay in time. You know it already. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Coming up now, the start of the end, the final of the Open Ladies. Big flag.
so um, I'm lucky enough to have the winner here of the Open Women's uh, Beach Flags event. Um, she's puffed still, she's just been diving in the sand, chasing flags around. Chanel, congratulations. Thank um, you. How's the competition today here at Manly? Oh well, it started off really rainy, but it's cleared up beautifully and um, yeah. the, the, comp the competitors are, it's, it's a really high standard, so that's why we come down here. Yeah, and so you, uh, uh, a team from Cairo has moved down here, or travelled down here to get some good racing in? Yeah, the beaches, we know this is a really strong carnival and um, we know that the, the, it's the best of the best coming down So, and with the interstate comp yeah. just around the corner so we thought we'd bring a strong crew down. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking at you, I can see sand all over you, it's in your <laughs> face. Is it, you know, what's it like out there in the, the beach flags? You know, I see you diving, you're up, you're down, you kind of make your bed first and then it's just all on. Yeah, it's, it, it can be quite um, aggressive in the in the dive, but um, yeah, you'll end up just getting sand everywhere. So I'm looking forward to going for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. And so, can you talk us through, I guess, your preparation? You, you turn up here. We all see, or, or we talk about the the beach flags. Is you make your bed kind of thing, or you do your gardening? You know, it, what 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 are you doing when you, you do that? Well, we just want to make it as um, even as possible. So a lot of the time, just because of the conditions, there's a big slope on the beach. So yep. just try and even out the sand, pat it down, make it nice and hard, just to make our term work properly and yeah, yeah execute it to perfection <laughs> yeah and I guess it's all in that explosive start that spin is it yeah I mean we practice our starts over and over again it's just about nailing it and getting it getting it right yeah yeah, yeah. and you had a good tan lying on the beach all the time <laughs> yeah the one side gets tanned the other side just gets sandy <laughs> oh congratulations it was a great race thank you very well much Ended. women in life saving yes well, it's very you. exciting you were one of the originals. I was, yes, in 1952, or with the ladies' march past. We had a carnival down here that was a larger crowd than what the men had for their carnivals. I think it was because the women are more attractive, perhaps, I don't know. But uh, no, it was an exciting time. And, and, and did you ever go on to do any kind of branch or state? Not really, no, because women hadn't branched out of that far at that time. So it was mainly uh, just march past beach events. We weren't allowed to do water events because we didn't have our bronze medallion. That was to come much later. In the, I'm talking early 50s and the bronze medallion for women came in I think the late 70s, early 80s. And your memories of the great old manly club? Oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful because I remember the old club house as it was and which was quite an icon in the shark tower yeah. but uh, I was fortunate enough to live across the road here so this was my playground growing up and a lot of champions back then absolutely the yes well I met my husband through here he was a club champion club captain True. and um, went on to become a life member That's so uh, yes we we had a wonderful relationship with uh, a lot of friends here the importance of women in life saving Ireland. Well, I think now it's very important because they're uh, they're contributing amazing things, and, and even in the competition, we we'll look at the women, the iron women, etc. Uh, well, that's not necessarily the surf life saving movement. It's uh, it's wonderful the women have come into it. And the nipper movement. Yes, well, I, I, have, I wasn't involved in the Nipper movement um, because uh, they, it wasn't there. But you've seen when, it grow. But I've seen it grow and it's yeah. uh, huge. I think it's wonderful. I think uh, surf life saving is a wonderful um, interest for young people, gives them team spirit, um, you know. All a sense of camaraderie. Absolutely, yeah, and discipline. That was the word I was trying yeah. to think of, discipline.
The standard of competition today has been pretty good that we've noticed, but I think you probably noticed from the ground as well. Oh, mate, well, over the last two years, these guys have come on in these events. It's, uh, it's just good to be back, you know, it's more fun than anything, you know, no question stuff. Can't lose it. So, uh, next, uh, next stop, the Queensland State Championships, and then back to your home beach for the Aussies. Yeah, mate, yeah, we've got a uh, few carnivals to do right there, so, like, two weeks time, so we'll get rid of that and take it one step at a time. Look forward to Aussies and story to the Carolina, so just play for it. Anyway, well done today, Manly Champion, congratulations. Thanks very much.